Hello everyone, my name is Miss Wendy and I'm an English teacher. Today we're going to be looking at our science subject. Our science lesson for today is going to be the process of photosynthesis. Today we're going to be learning two things. One of them is going to be what photosynthesis is and how it helps plants. Also, we're going to be learning what a plant needs for photosynthesis to happen. First of all, let's try to remember what plants need. There are some elements that are really important for plants and that they need in order to grow and to survive. For example, some of them are food, air, water, and space to live and grow. Many plants live and grow in soil, and here are some of the elements that are very important for plants. Also, let's take a look at the different parts of a plant. The forming parts of a flowering plant are leaves, roots, stems, and flowers. In different kinds of plants, these parts may look alike but they may also look different. Here we have our visual to look better at each part of the plant. First of all, let's talk about the roots. The roots act as a sponge absorbing all the nutrients and water from the soil. They also hold the plant in the soil so it doesn't get blown or washed away. Now let's talk about the stem. The stem acts as a straw, soaking all the food and water up to the other parts of the plant. The stem also holds up the leaves and the flowers. Now we have the leaves. The leaves make food for the plant by using sunlight and water. This is called the process of photosynthesis. Leaves also make clean oxygen for us to breathe and to help us survive too. Finally, we have the flowers. Flowers help the plant reproduce, which, is, which means make again. Also, flower attracts insects with their pollen and nectar. Also, flowers can grow into fruits. Unlike animals, plants make their own food. Plants need energy from the sun to make food. The energy from the sun enters the leaves and helps plants make the food. This food helps plants grow. How leaves help plants? Now let's answer that question. Leaves help green plants use water, air, and energy from sunlight to make food. This food is a kind of sugar, the process by, by which plants use air, water, and energy from sunlight to make food is called photosynthesis. Now let's talk about this process. Photosynthesis starts when carbon dioxide enters the plant. It enters through tiny holes on the surface of the leaves and carbon dioxide, let's remember that it's a gas in the air that is absorbed by most plants. Where can we get this gas? Well, this gas, it can come from pollution that, or the air that people breathe out. We can also get it from the factories and the cars that we use to transport. Now, water passes from the soil through roots to stems into each leaf. Water can also pass out of the leaf through the tiny holes.
Leaves use energy from the sun to change carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen. Oxygen is the gas in the air. Plants and animals need oxygen to live, just like us. Oxygen passes out of the plant through the tiny holes on the surface of the leaves and the plant uses the sugar to live and to grow. Now it's time to do a little activity and see how well we understood this topic. Now it's time for our activity. Let's see how well we understood the topic of today's lesson. Let's answer the question, what is photosynthesis? Let's study the picture below, which we have right here, to help us out the and answer the sentences that we have here on the bottom. Here on the side, we have the possible answers. Carbon dioxide, energy, sugar, minerals, and oxygen. Well, let's begin. Photosynthesis is a process that plants use to breathe and to make food. They use, what is it that they use from the sun? Let's remember that part. Well, yes, perfect. They use the energy from the sun along with what is it that is in the soil? We have perfect minerals that we find in the soil and a gas that we call, what is the gas that we get from pollution? Do you remember? Perfect. We get carbon dioxide. Let's put it right here. To make which feeds the plant? What is that food of the plant? Do you remember the name? Yes, it is sugar. To make sugar, which feeds the plant during the process, what is released into the air? That help us and other animals survive. Perfect. We have our last one, which is oxygen. Very well done. Now let's do a really quick recap. Let's remember what we need for photosynthesis to happen in a plant. First of all, we need the energy of the sun, also carbon dioxide, the roots that are going to help us get water and minerals inside the plant, and what we're going to get from all these elements is the sugar and the oxygen that we get in order to breathe and survive. Well, thank you for joining me in my class, in my science class of today. Um, I'll see you in our next class. Take care and thank you.